Hey guys, our decline here, average picker. So, yeah, I've been sick uh, the last few days. I would have gotten more videos done on Tuesday or Wednesday. Um, but the fever, it's down below 100. So let's try to take a crack here and see if we can pick Soul. Um, only being minorly ill. Um, let's see what we can get here. So we tried heart the other day. Uh, so this is we're trying its counterpart, soul. I won't do any music. Um, and you know, I can't say I'm not gonna do that again, but uh Bears Back did mention he did not like the music bit being added on. Um and I appreciate the feedback, man, I really do. Um, you know, I just kind of play around and experiment with my channel some with in certain confines of it being lock centered. So it's good to know. It's good to get any kind of feedback. I think I need to be using the I'm gonna do a reset here. So if we go in and just start hitting the pins, they seem to go pretty quickly. I get a lock that's in kind of a Nice relaxed state, but it does not turn over. Hmm. Oh gosh, that was I was not expecting that. I probably crunched something up too high there. And yeah, the lock just relaxed again. back right now. I'm working my way towards the front just slightly probing at these. I'm using slightly more tension that would you would probably want to use on an 1100. If it was just a straight 1100. But I'm kind of alternating that tension off to very 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 light. I think I'm going to manually rotate the core here in a moment. Just checking a few of these pins up front for feedback. Okay, I'm going to slowly pull this thing back. Oh gosh, a little bit. Just brought it back a little bit. I'm going to do it one more time. Oh no, oh no. Ah, tensioner slid out. So we can get that state back here. There it is. That was a manual rotation and lift on the last pin. Pretty springy everywhere now. Do it one more time. Well, that's interesting. That didn't want to bring and come back. Switch picks. It's using a homemade kind of rounded. It's almost a. Um, it's almost a full dent, um, but it's got a little bit more tilt to it. It's got kind of the tilt of an Attila and the tip of a full dent. Um, it's really nice because it rolls along the pins very nicely. But for getting lifts, you have to be real careful with it. Um, it's a homebrew because it does want to lift multiples at one time. 
I'll show it to you guys. So that's what we were using. And I, do, I like it for all the reasons I like the full dent. Um, and I'm not afraid to bend that one. Yeah, the full dent just rolls along real nice. But now we're using, this is the steep or the high reach or the something. It's got the little dimple on the tip made by Spiros. I need to probe out more individual pins right now. It's kind of a manual lift on two. God, can it go up high? Does it really need to go up that high? Back of the lock is really very responsive. It gives us a lot of feedback back there. Kind of want to lift it, wants to lift it and rotate the whole plug. Deeper to go in there with. Is it really a steepness problem? Oh, that was the most unpretty lift ever. I just jammed up probably the whole back third of the lock <laughs> all at the same time. That's the other problem with this rounded off. Uh, guy it's very easy for him just to come up and I mean it's already these are already easy to drop out of and this rounded I wonder if everything everything didn't even drop from that so I mean it's dropped now that I just manually reset it but that uh holy cow that was holding at least one pin still. Got a very definite click on it. Just gonna run to maybe about, oh, oh. That felt real close. I'm just going to run to maybe about the 10 minute mark. It's weird. Um, nothing. Nothing feels set, but nothing really feels like it. It's just, yeah. God, there's that weird, it does this weird shrug and relax thing, especially after you lift off the back pins some. I mean, it's like it falls into just a slight false set, but like all the tension just goes out of it. It's just like, uh, it's like it sighs a little bit. I don't know if that makes any sense at all. That's the way it is in my brain right now is it's like, oh, that's the sighing part. Um, but if I was just to sit down on this lock right now as it is, yeah, I mean, it would just feel like nothing had been set yet. Things clearly have been set as well.
I have no idea what Alex might have done to these. The last couple minutes, do something a little weirder. Going with the Tron. Not ideal for these Americans, but it does work. Okay, that pin is definitely stuck down. I think we're around the three or four, third or fourth pin there. Come up behind it, get definite counter rotation, get a lift, and it goes right back to where it was. And there it goes. There's that little shrug again. Well, I said we we're gonna run ten minutes, and oh, what was that? Dang. Really good. No, you must have spent a ton of time on these two. There's just no telling what you did to them. like that. That was me really forcing a pin. <coughs> oh. All right. That's it for me right now. Um, yeah, there we go. Um, that's the first attempt on Soul, and I'll just document each one of these. Well, we'll get through it eventually. We'll probably skip around, though, and uh, do some other locks in the meantime. Because I still have some Cameron Dunn and some uh, Washington State Picker locks in there, as well as a few other odd and ends. So I haven't forgotten about you guys. Um, but yeah, we'll be back to this later. We can go take some leave or some other product. All right, you guys. Have a good one.